iPhone orders seem on decline as suppliers start taking a hit. Twitter seems to have finally woken up and smelled the coffee about its limitations. And that's all welcome Casio to the Android Wear arena. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, don't you just love that smell of trade show walking for hours? Ugh. This is Pocket Now Daily. Folks, our coverage of CES 2016 begun a couple of days ago. We already have hands-on videos of LETV, Huawei, just to start, and we've got a ton more coverage coming up. But when it comes to the official news, one of the most interesting ones was Oculus, you know, that company that pretty much started the whole stint of virtual reality. Uh, they've just made their consumer product available for pre-order as of today. The only problem is you'll have to pay $600 for that crazy thing. And we hope to get you some interesting coverage of that product so far, we think it might be worth the money. We'll keep you posted. And as for other announcements of CES 2016, one very interesting one was Casio. The company has just surprised us with a welcome to the smartwatch space. It is now offering its new Android wearable, and it's focusing on fitness on a more rugged product, and it actually doesn't look that bad. And it shouldn't, because that thing is going to retail for a crazy $500. And you can bet that we are going to give it some pocket out fitness treatment, in addition to some hands-on coverage as well, coming very soon. But speaking of virtual reality, one of the major players, if not the best, is HTC with the Vive. I actually had an opportunity to test it yesterday for the first time ever, and I was blown away. It is crazy great. But uh, there were some rumors that the company was struggling economically, that it was going to sell a facility in order to be able to retain this project, and uh, HTC CEO just came on record yesterday to confirm that it won't, that the company is not selling off anything, that on the contrary, it's pushing hard with the Vive. We cannot wait for you all to test it out. HTC is making a big deal out of it here, and you should definitely give it a try at some point. And moving the spotlight over to rumors, one very interesting one from trusted sources is that apparently Twitter is going to reinvent itself again. And uh, hear me out here, the company is trying to make itself profitable somehow, even though it's not like if it's losing money. But it wants to remain relevant up to the point where it seems that the company is going to get rid of the 140 character limitation and now have a limit of 10,000 characters. I can't remember when was it that I wrote so much. I kind of got used to the 140. It's a great move. We're just not exactly sure when it'll happen. Trusted sources claim that it'll happen in March. So stay tuned for that if you've been wanting to give Twitter another try. And finally, the very interesting rumors of today have to do with the iPhone. And isn't that weird? We're at a trade show right now, and the ticket right now is the iPhone. But not in good news. Apparently, suppliers have received a 30% cut in orders from Apple because it seems that the iPhone 6S is stagnant. It seems that Apple is not selling as much as it expected with this product, and uh, they're taking a hit. It seems that analysts were right. Those were part of the predictions that we heard for the end of this uh, half and then for early next quarter. But hey, it leads me to the the question of the day. You know, if it's not the iPhone that's selling like crazy, then what phone is? What phone do you see on the road most when you look at people? Because I've seen a crazy amount of people with new galaxies, even though, you know, the Galaxy didn't sell that well either. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know what phone do you see most on the road? Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram, and Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.